Pay very big attention to this. Very important. I know she was, she must have been very depressed and confused. So eventually I was able to get her. I told her my life will not be happy. I told my wife I will be released, but it's a matter of time. And he told me she had already got out of the press. So they were praying. Now, at the time, it's said, obvious. We are delaying them. My, my bishop of Sowere, they laid him on something. And somebody raised knife. And they're going to cut off the head. Now, the blood will spill on me. And then I know they're serious. The other one pointed to I said, Don't you need money to raise the money for you? So, but the irony of it, what paid me most was where they were situated. Uh, the soldiers, soldiers, all of Fulani extraction, Nigerian soldiers, they were there at Lomar Junction. And these boys uh, were going behind them. Meanwhile, they kept their cows somewhere, numbering about 200, somewhere, down, 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 with some people. And they Reality. Were all Reality. Very, very pity. Very, very pity. Eventually, by 3 p.m. Listen very carefully. This is a true story. You will understand everything. Hundred million. Hundred million. Now you understand. Uh, old road where they wrote welcome to the demon. 
and the good buy from Abel. When we share man the old road to the soul. Then they say, you know this road, I said, I don't know. I pretend that who was in my village, who was my village. I said, I don't know the place. They say, follow this road, you get to somewhere. You see people there. So I follow the road. Pay attention here. Pay a very big attention, okay? Listen. Listen. These people told us that they are going to bring, after buying enough weapons, to bring all those that are, uh, have been uh, put in the Sare, uh, given away from Dakara, Dasena, uh, that they are all coming to locate themselves to be for like that, that no security means for like that. That uh, they will come there and then they will be with us. And that uh, the Dumba was just flippant. Maybe he took a. Um, he said, Do you know uh, Ibado? Ibado, uh, Lagos Expressway. We are in all the bush there. We are everywhere there. We are also in the south south. Uh, so we are, we are waiting for the uh, slightest signal. We will finish you people and get to the next one. They claim that Nigeria belongs to Poland. They said, if that is why we are afraid of, you know, I've been talking about this uh, open version and this. Uh... Hello, great people. Hello, great people. Freedom fighters, lovers of freedom, my great people all over the world. I am back again today. I still remain Mazi Okin Okechuku, known as Bia French Watch Neke, the general. My great people, as we just finished listening, listening to this video of a priest that was kidnapped, now you begin to understand what we're saying. I hope every one of us get a point. This time is not a time that we are going to be saying that uh, we don't know what is playing. They have already kidnapped the priest. They kidnapped him. They kidnapped him. This is a very long story. This is a, lo a very, very long story. And I'm going to break it down in details because our people have to understand that whenever I'm telling my people, it does not matter who you are. This is not about religion. This is about conquest. This is about ethnic cleansing. How to raise money. They want to raise money to get their own weapons, things they need to carry on this conquest. Now you begin to understand it. It have happened to a priest. Reality, it have happened to a priest. Some of you are now beginning to understand that I'm not just shouting for nothing, but I'm always bring reality so that people will understand what is going on. Now it have happened to priest. They he paid hundred thousand million. Now you begin to understand hundred thousand million. If this man has that money, if he does not get that money, probably today his life will be gone. But they raise the money. And whenever I've been telling my people all the, I mean, what these people are trying to do or they are about their mission, people don't seem to understand. When you say something like this, they say it's a hate speech. How can it be a hate speech when the Fulanese are the people that are, you know, promoting hate speech, doing all manners of evil, destroying and kidnapping and maiming? collecting ransom from people for their conquest. And when you say it, they will say it's a hate speech. But you have heard it from the, from the priest. He's a priest. Because a lot of you people believe priest. Now he's a priest. They have kidnapped him. He paid 100. When they want to release them, you, you, you heard what the priest said. He said one of the, 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 the kidnappers these people are not kidnappers. These people are just a food soldiers. You people are calling them kidnappers. They are not. These people are full-time food soldiers from Sahel. They are coming for conquest. Ethnic cleansing. Now you begin to understand it. From priest, not from me. From priest. Baptist priest. This is now a priest. A man of God. As they claimed. Now they have kidnapped him. He paid 100 million. At the same time, you know, sometimes these Fulani people, they will also tell you what they are about to do. Because sometimes they have already taken a lot of, you know, some, some things that make them high sometimes. They may misbehave and say some certain things. Now they have told the priest. 
say they want to use this money to get their ammunition equipped get every resources they want and then waiting for the order he told the priest that at ibadan they have already occupied the whole forest now you understand it this is not from their franchise this is from a priest you see everybody of every one of us see the video he said they are coming for ethnic cleansing they are coming for conquest that they will deal with you people from Biafra. He said they will deal with you people. That Fulani belongs to them. I mean to say Nigeria belongs to them. Now you begin to understand. Not me saying it. Go back and listen to the priest. If you don't understand what I'm saying, I've been saying this time without number. Use your tongue to count your teeth and get yourself equipped and defend yourself at the same time. If they will keep on suppressing us, saying that we are using hate speech. But those Fulanese, they are using sweet speech. Now you begin to understand. They said this to a priest, not an individual, not a common person. They will say, ah, the person is lying. Okay, are you telling me that the priest is lying now? What they told him, that they are coming. They are going to bring people from Mina, from Sambisa. They will come down to Eastern, which is Biafran land, to occupy and destroy. They say they are coming. Priests have said it. <laughs> Call it a speech. But it's reality. There is no two ways about it. I keep on telling you people. Islamists, Wahhabist terrorists is there. Islamics, Wahhabist, slash terrorists, they are there for ethnic cleansing. Good day. I welcome.